Hi everyone, welcome to the class of Reservoir Simulation. Today we are going to talk about the Eclipse Office software which is used for widely for reservoir engineering calculations. And uh, first of all we need to learn that what is Eclipse. Well Eclipse is a reservoir simulation software and uh, it's used widely in uh, reservoir engineering and by the reservoir engineering team. Well it's a three phase this software actually we talked about it that we have three phases oil gas and water so it's up for three phases three dimensions x y and z and it's a general you can use for many applications including from um, production predictions and so on and many others well it's written in the fortran language and this uh, subject we are talking about the python but originally this software was written by the fortran and it can work with anyone it can simulate any phases, one phase, two phase, three phase. It has both options, the compositional option and as well as the black oil option. Okay. Also, it can model the vaporizing in gas and oil and so on. It also has 3D radial option and Cartesian block center. So all options it has and it's quite a moderate, modern uh, software that is used nowadays. In oil and gas industry so the first question is how to start okay how to start with reservoir simulation how to start with this software well first of all to run this software we need an input file input file with all the data concerned reservoir and process of an equilibration so we need an eclipse file and the extension of this file is actually the data any it has the file name dot data this is how you you get this file and I will show you right now in file and see how I can run it also at the same time so now you see that I have a file here SPE missable if you go to the properties of this one it's dot data this extension is dot data so you open this file now you see that we have a file a long file for Eclipse Office whatever simulation we do we do based on our programming here based on this one we start from so we will talk about this file what's for example what is this grid what is this equals here what is so we have to learn each and each keyword what does it mean what does it mean what does it mean what does it mean and so on we have to understand that what is going on here in all the data files here and it comes with, uh, with experience and by spending time on this this software so this was the data file that i showed you we play with data file and then we run it and uh, i will teach you how to run this one but today our objective is just to look into this data file in much details okay now this data file has many options it has eight main sections eight sections and each section you have to have lots of information that you need to put lots of data that you need to put into it so here are they we have a run spec section we have a grid section edit section props section region solution summary and so on three six and eight sections that we have here and they must be specified in order like run spec from the top cannot go to the bottom and schedule from the bottom cannot go to the top so it has to be in order and we have to remember them and we have to remember their functions now I will show you that how actually now if you look at this data file you see it's written run spec exactly you see here this is run spec here is run spec this is the first section second section it, you see this line it shows that the section is ended here with the slash and now you see it's grid here so here you see that we have second the grid one so now if you go down further you see now we have props sections so if you look at it here we have a prop section we don't have the edit here usually we have run spec grid properties prop section then if you go down further we have here the solution section so here we have prop section solution section 
and then we have the summary and schedule it's not necessary that all of them should be there but these are the one we are talking right now they should be there solution summary schedule each section it has to be there these are the time steps scheduled for this one this file this is the final file that we have so we talk about one by one what are those so for now just remember that it has all this section and we have to fill the data whatever we have in all those sections well yes status required well run spec section is the basic section it tells us about the title the what i mean the names how many pages it has it is black boiler or compositional and so on the basic thing we get talk about the basic reservoir geometry as you see here as you see here it talk about the basic geometry of the simulation and various grid blocks this is what the grid is talking about about porosity for example permeability net to gross ratio to each grid cell so grid basic about grid information run spec just the basic introduction name and title and so on you go ahead we have the edit section so this is optional okay normally we don't use it but this is prop section rock and fluid properties for relative permeability capillary pressure viscosity all this information properties of rock is usually given here in the prop section then we have regions okay region de depends on with sometimes the reservoirs are not uniform so what we do we divide the reservoir into regions region 1 or region 2 region 1 may have different porosity region 2 may have different porosity so depends on this then we divide into region it is optional not always available but the solution is required because the initial condition may be needed uh, calculated using specified fluid contact depth and uh, so the initial condition are given in the solution like what is the initial pressure of uh, reservoir initial temperature how much is the initial oil saturation gas saturation or whatever so here you can see pressure saturation composition of initial you have to define this is then we have the summary summary tells us that what results you want this is optional means you don't need to put all the uh, things you need it has there's a lot of summary we can be generated here but at least some of them are compulsory for example field oil production rate field total production in 10 years and so on so we have to put all the information about the summary here then we have the schedule section it tells us that how many wells it has and how till when what time it will run how many years they will run and so on so now this is the data file and let's compare it with this the data file i have here look at it they see now we have the title so title of this one is spe fifth comparison test problem you can change it let's say class of simulation any any title you can put it here dimensions well as you know remember that the each uh, well we if we have the big reservoir big reservoir like this one Okay, we divide into the small parts. Okay, for example, we convert them into like this. Into so we have the big reservoir. We convert into the small blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is telling the those dimension of those grids. How many this this seven? How many in x direction? How many in y direction? And how many in z direction? So it tells us that, for example, here in x direction we have three, and y is three. So it here you can write here three and three, and so on. Then we have to mention the phases: oil, water, what your reservoir that you are dealing with, what it has. So it has oil, it has water, it has scale. Then after that, this is this keyword field that you see here is actually the unit which uh, some uh, field unit which field system you are using uh, which unit system you are using field or you have metric or you have the lab usually the field is the one which is used 
in this one. Then this is the special keyword used for the miscible and here we will not talk about it because this is a special keyword used for SP miscible flooding and we will talk about it when we solve the case studies. Then we have the well dimension. It tells us that in this simulation how many wells you are going to put, for example three wells and how many groups it has. All are grouped in the same way? Yes. So we have to put this information and so on. Then this is the start date when you are going to start. Okay, and uh, the it tells the what kind of output you need. Indicate indicate what output you need here. The title, number of blocks, oil, water, gas. Start date of simulation. Data checking only with no simulation. So this is the basic run spec section we have. This was the run spec section. Now we go for the grid section. Yes. Okay, we will stop it here and then we will go for the second round for this lecture. So if you have any questions you can uh, discuss with me.